you beautiful Nono Obis, welcome back to my channel. This is Uncut with Nono Obi where we'll become controversial issues on the internet and we'll bring it here and we'll come here and dissect it. And guys, today's video is actually a controversial one, whatever you can think of, okay? This is whatever she called herself. She called herself a comedian and uh, she's a skit maker. Her name is Ash Mushi. Yeah, people watch her skits. She has gone viral one certain time. They said that she dated them, um, that they Chine Du from Honest Bunch um, podcast say they saw him. Um, they saw him. Um, they saw her in a hotel with our senator, allegedly senator um, Dino Melayi. So she kind of went very viral. She's a skit maker. She said she's been making lots of money. Nigerians are in doubt, of course. Is it just skit making that is giving her this lots of money? Or is she doing something else that she's trying to, you know, hide from us? Of course, her flamboyant life doesn't give us that she's just the skit making business that she's doing. Don't quote me wrong. I'm not into skit making. I don't know how much they make. I don't know how much they are, they are. people pay them to influence their business. So I don't know. But I'm talking allegedly what my country, Nigeria, is saying. What the lawyers of the internet. We have two school of thoughts. The one of them is saying there is no way possible skit making and give this lady this luxurious 2010 2022 model mercedes benz with a duplex i think she built house from her mom i think she got a car from her mom and the other kind of thought is saying what you don't know don't talk skit making can give her such amount of money okay we don't know don't my my son's knows i'll take it out yeah he has them kata do you understand? We don't know. So I brought it up on the internet. So we'll talk about it. She said, a man has to give me 5 to 20 million for me to value it. Because I make up to 65 million monthly. You shook. You shock myself. <laughs> you shock myself. 65 million monthly. How is it possible that he make, he, she makes up to 65 million monthly? I don't know. The internet went berserk. People were mad on her. I don't know if she purposely said this so I should go viral because it was a she was invited for a, a podcast and she dropped this statement. Watch the video. I honestly, I have a confession. Honestly speaking, this yeah. is nice, correct? It, because me, right? I like to date for love, not for money or anything. Like, yeah, I like to, yes. Yeah, so when I date for love, like I'm in love so much, and then I know I'm any more than you. I'm richer yeah. than you. So because, because due to that, you're probably not giving me so much, like compared mm. to what I. Because yeah. if, if the man wants to wants to support me in any way or help me pay something, okay, you should be reasoning like giving me like five to ten million, twenty million for me to even value it and be happy that oh, thank you, this thing yeah. can help me pay my bills. Yeah, yeah, but if you want to give me like two hundred, five hundred, one million, it can't like, do nothing. Do you understand? So so. For that to be happening, um, so due to that, when I'm dating for love and I'm in love, and then I, I earn more than the guy, yeah. the guy is probably not giving me as much as I would appreciate. But I'll still yeah. be in love, I'll still be in love, love and all that. Wait. But after a while, my emotions yeah. will definitely override. Yes. After a while, I get really, really irritated. Like, who is this? Hello? Someone, someone, someone I, I probably still love him though, yeah. but but I'm like, hello, hello, mm. what happened? I'm shooting, mm, mm. I'm on my bed though. Yeah. So it's just, it's, it's just natural. Yeah. Attitude will just come up. It's not, yes. Mm. Like something that's not, not even supposed to be an so issue. So does it, does it make it you, an issue. make you want to, or have you dated richer men? As for the case of richer men, <laughs> Zig, hey, my dear, yeah. I have met them plenty. Mm? Yeah. I've, I've dated a few, I've, I've met a lot, a lot come to me, of yeah. course, but for some reason, I always fall in love with the broker ones. <laughs> no one knows this thing. I swear, I don't know why. But nobody say I know the broker ones. I don't mean. I mean they are doing okay, but I'm bigger and richer than yeah. them, right? So for the richer ones now, they always come with um, you know, rich. Most rich men have pride and arrogance issues. Yeah. And me, me being a choleric myself, I also have pride as a woman that is also doing well. Yeah. So we always clash. You know, they're always about to like control my life. You know what? Stop yeah. that job. You can't be doing any kind of ads against. You have to stop influencing. Fine, I can stop it for you like, and enjoy your money. But yeah. when I stop it, what if anything goes wrong with us? As I'm gone. Yeah, true, true, true. Do you get so they always have their rules, their own as per rich man. Rich men yeah. want to have their own pride, their own arrogance, their own rules. And I'm So you have to choose. Do you understand? The the and the ones that the ones that the ones that don't have much money, the men that, that don't have much money, not yeah. broke, but like you know, they don't have much money. They're always really cool with what you do. I like what you do for a living. They're not their choice. <laughs> <laughs> do you know that the villa I bought? I bought it from a month's savings. Like I don't even have to say for months to buy a car. Like from a month's savings for my business, yeah. for my businesses. I run multiple businesses, so I keep anony anonymous. So when you say Vela, a month's salary for me. Can you imagine? That's so how, how much can you say you earn averagely in a month? I make 
5 to 65 million per month. Play Kabaye. Yes, of course, we know it can't do nothing for you because, babe, you have chopped life. I'm not um, disputing that. You say you make 65 million every month. What you show us in, on internet that belongs to you, yes, 200,000 cannot do you. It's very, very correct. But please, some of our young girls look up to you. Mind the things you say. Keep your class in your pocket. And trust me, these kind of girls, they end up with people that are just intermediate or people that they even end up using their own money to pay their bride price. Yes, so. Yes, so. That is why I don't believe this people on the internet. Because as you're seeing her now, she's running her mouth. She can even use her hand to pay for her bride price and even her wedding. Just for it to be exotic and up to the standard that she has made herself, that she has portrayed herself of. Do you understand? The kind of people that we are, we are following. And these ones will have people that they are looking up to. Do you get? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. She says she has met quite rich people, but she ended up falling in love with the ones that are broker. <laughs> what did I just say? I said it. That this type end up with marrying, even marrying those that they will be the one to pay their bride price. Yes. See what somebody. No one. Okay, we're on the one. But ni hen wa bo. The ripe but an internet na ko yi. Na mo kenyi 200 mo yo gbe mi gbe ndi 5 to 6 million monthly. Before go go dele asongwe. Before the thing e me to go there see if ka. O ge zu to no ni men dia. Before the thing go just there like say you go better for her life. You need to give her like about 5 to 6 million naira. Million naira. That is somebody salary for 10 years. Oh my god, I don't know. It's just crazy. And the comment section went berserk. Somebody said, geez, because he's shaking. The only one said, she said what she said. If you can't give her the millions, leave her alone. So you wouldn't say someone crushed your ego or self-esteem. There are many ladies that genuine just want love without financial gain. Go and woo and be with them. Date or go for your size class perfectly understood okay i'm not disputing what you said you made your point here someone said see as these guys they look the mumu they speak nonsense from her mouth she actually speaks she actually speak nonsense for me i don't know for you maybe on the class of the other girl that said look for your size yeah okay you make 65 million from working i presume and someone wants to dash you money you did not work for and you are saying it has to be from 5 million upwards. I hope she understands what she, how stupid this sounds, okay? If all men start talking to ladies for their class, a lot of you will be de depressed. The comment section went berserk. Men are amazing. A man can get too rich with so much class and still choose a woman who is classless and upgrade to what he wants without making her feel less of herself by not giving her choices. Even on top of the money, on top of the guy's money. But you see my gender, just 2% of my gender, a female is saying this. Who sees money can pick up a broke guy and not rub it to their face. That's, that he's actually broke and therefore should not have a choice. Not tell them about do's and don'ts. Well, on the comment section, people have their different um, different opinions. Me, I'm on the opinion that if this is particular life you live, if this is you, you don't need to come and tell us on the internet because internet keeps record, okay? Do your life. <laughs> 65 million a month is what you make. Auntie, I've had you. Live your life. Stop coming on the internet to tell us these things and, 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 and misleading the people that are following you. Misleading the millions of people that are following you, people that are looking up to you, how you became a skit maker, how you made it. Why don't you just put it in this notion that you're a skit, a skit maker and you're making a comfortable amount of money? Okay, this is encouraging to people that want that aspiring to become what you are. Not coming on the internet to tell me that you make 65 million a month and a guy that gives you five to six million is a bullshit guy. No. 200,000 can't do anything to you that the person has to be giving you about five to six million naira before the person starts to do something in your life. <laughs> Hi, 
oh my god people just make me i don't know people make me laugh people make me laugh so guys i just saw the video on the internet and decided to bring it here so come down in the comment section let's talk about it what do you think do you think she's talking bullshit do you think she's talking around nonsense because trust me you see this girl i'm telling you she's going to finally get married to a broke man who she's going to be feeding who she's going to be providing for you can't be too boastful and and go scot-free <laughs> i don't know how to fix it i'm not wishing her bad luck but just the meat of life it always goes this way when you say you're not going to do this that's what you end up doing but you know, life just has a way it brings back those things you say you don't like just to test your patience just to know how you're going to deal with it just to tell you that you said you can't do this you end up doing it right and do this you end up doing it right okay so if you know those things you hate don't say them because when you say them life has this way of bringing it to your to your domot that you don't have any choice than to fix yourself thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video you have a wonderful day bye bye bye, -bye.